Isn't it beautiful how the sun is just shining? It's hot, right? All right, here we go, people. So you guys want to know what our weekend is going to be like? Well, here's a lineup and a preview of what it's going to be like. True West Indian, I gotta understand what this is. This is what we call pig's tail. And don't make the name fool you. It's nice and it's sweet and it tastes good. And some people eat pig feet, but we Jamaicans, we eat the pig's tail. I said corn, but did I know it was gonna be this good looking? Hey, if corn was able to have a look, this would be some handsome corn. We got plantains on steroids. This is white sweet potato that in Jamaica we call it white sweet potato these are some chicken wings here and then this is some leg and thigh because we're gonna have curry chicken today tomorrow we're gonna have Jamaican Aki it's called Linstead Market Carame Aki go a Linstead Market not a quarty what's up Goya oh boy yeah that's gonna be in the soup so there you have it guys we're gonna give you a little bit more insight as we go on further curry chicken is bubbling bubblicious yum yum um this is the remnants of the corn that we're having as appetizers vlog life Jamaicans that eat pork guys we come on here and we show you our food and enjoy sharing it with you um, but we also pray for those that don't have and ask God to fill the tummies of little children and people that are without today and to be mindful of people that don't have it and also to be grateful because we have it and we thank the Lord for everything we have in the precious name of Jesus amen, amen. Hi Brenton! Hi Brenton's mommy! Brenton, mommy said take off your jacket and your hat. I didn't get no kiss. Come give me my kiss. Come and give me my kiss right here on my cheek. Come on. Yeah. Now go give me a kiss. Miss you so much. Oh, you kind of give me my kiss. Mm. Soup's ready. Vlog life. Happy Sunday, everyone. This is our Sunday meal. I have been on a jerk chicken fetish. So it used to be curry goat on Sundays, but now it's jerk chicken. My salad, my rice and peas with a little gravy just in case. Mummy is right just, here. You didn't show the salad. The salad. I did show the salad. Vlog life. I'm going to need someone to go inside my throat right now. <coughs> anything else want to happen? Does anything else want to happen? And now my throat decides that it wants to itch. As well as my nose. I'm falling apart! <sighs> the good thing about falling apart is somebody can put you back together. Okay? And his name is God! Okay, God can put me back together. I mean, why are you looking at me like that? God can put your back together. Don't you worry. Your throat itch? Scratch it. Your arm itch? Scratch it. Your nose itch? Rub it. What, you guys want to see why I'm laughing? Look at my mother looking at me. Hi, mama. 
with your cute self vlog life. I had a stressful phone call, and on top of getting that phone call, my CPAP machine wouldn't work properly last night. So I didn't really sleep last night. On top of being stressed, then I couldn't get any sleep. I had a new CPAP mask that um, had not been used, and thank God that I had that. And also, in addition to the mask, I had the, um, I had this piece. See, this is the mask. See, this is the new mask, okay? Uh, if you could tell, anybody that uses a CPAP mask, you could tell this is new. Because the other one is, was beat up. <laughs> and then this part, this part that goes, that attaches to it. It was, I don't know, I think somehow it was defective. And let me tell you, that CPAP machine was making noise last night. And even my mother, whose room is not next to mine, her room is a little ways down. She got up and she came in my room. She was like, are you okay? She said, that machine was making so much noise. And I would sleep for 10 minutes and wake up. Sleep for 15 minutes and wake up. Sleep for five minutes and wake up. It was annoying, very annoying. And then <laughs> my allergies started acting up on top of it. Even now, my eyes watering on me. Um, so when I go outside, it really is gonna water. Then I had some stressful situation with my bank too. First my bank, then this family member, then my CPAP machine. Is that all you got, world? Long as I got King Jesus. Long as I got King Jesus. Long, long, long as I got him. I don't need nobody else. Vlog life. Happy Wednesday. This is basically what I have every morning. Raisin bread with some eggs made with unsalted butter. A piece of turkey bacon. Maybe a couple slices of cheese. Nice hot steaming cup of coffee. You said you're in front of my building? Okay, okay, we're coming down now. He's on time. Today is Wednesday the 6th of May. It is 8.19 in the morning. It's actually 8.20. And we are on our way to the doctor. You guys know how we do this. Um, it's actually a little overcast and it's, it's, it's drizzling right now. Hi, Mommy. It's hot, right, Mom? You've been sweating, right? Driver's looking at me like, yeah. Yes, my dear friends, so we're on the way. So what else can we say? It's an early morning appointment. Um, that means that we will be getting back home early. The day before yesterday, you know, I had um, a little bit of unexpected stress. And I, I have to say, guys, that, you know, if you don't experience stress sometimes, then you don't know how, you'll never get an opportunity to know how how good how well god is working in your life because as i had mentioned on facebook and i tell you guys to follow me on facebook because facebook i you know i i, I really do communicate on facebook and instagram you know i put pictures up on instagram also uh but i had gotten a little unexpected call out of nowhere and um it was a very disturbing call and um you know i found myself upset but not the way I normally would be upset because I would get upset about things and just go on and on and it would and, you know just take up my whole day but I was just upset for that moment and um, unfortunately with heart disease you know you can't afford to get upset especially unnecessarily I mean there are things in life that will get you upset just because it's life and yes this is also a part of life but it's unnecessary that these are there's some things that you have to eliminate and remove from your life I had explained to the person I was like listen I'm sick and I can't afford to argue and the response was like whatever you know I was like well I only really want to you know praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I don't have time for the nonsense and the response was like yeah right <laughs> And then it was like, you know, insolence and 
throwing stuff, you know, words and stuff. And I was like, you really don't care. You really don't care that I'm sick, you know? So, you're out of my life and that's it. You've got to just shake that dust off your shoulder and move on, you know? So many unhappy people in this world. And the, so many of them want to blame you for their unhappiness, you know? It's sort of like they just can't deal with life so they have to blame you or find someone to blame and they're so unhappy. You know, and people are still talking about things that happened 30 and 40 and 50 years ago. Come on. Snap out of it, guys. And I'm talking to the people that I love here on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. If you guys have anything on your heart, listen, don't carry it, okay? Because your heart, you know, your heart is the boss in the body. If your heart gives out on you, you're not going to be alive. So why would you want to fill up something so valuable with a whole bunch of toxic nonsense? Clear your heart from all the strife and hatred and bitterness and all the drama so that you can live a nice life without any stress. And if I tell you, but if there's one thing I can thank God for is that he has allowed me to understand the value of my heart much better. Pretty fortunate. It, it, it's like five minutes to nine in the morning, and uh, there isn't really anyone here. Just two people ahead of us, so that's pretty good. It's a beautiful office. A lot of, um, you know, citations on the wall for, you know, outstanding doctor, top doctors 2011, top doctors 2007, top doctors 2000. Nine. Our doctor's visits are over and we have really been getting some really good doctors lately. I have to say that I'm happy. Like if you guys are looking for good health care, it's going to be like anything else, you know? My allergies are kicking in. It's going to be like anything else. It's like you're looking for a house. You got to keep looking and keep looking until you see that house and you're like, this is the one. Same thing with a car. You know, you look, you, you test drive it and you look, you know. And I mean, I can go on and on. Same thing with a boyfriend or a girlfriend. <laughs> you keep test driving a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you may not make it, okay, in these days and times. Oh, what was real funny is then he asked me if I'm, you know, they asked me, you know, like, are you, what's your status? You know, I was like single and celibate. Anything else you want to know? Why did he ask you? Why did he ask you, Ma? Ah, did he ask Mommy? Why are they getting all up in my bills now for? Save, sanctify, fill with the Holy Spirit. That's what I should have done. I have my selfie stick. It does not bother me to pull my selfie stick out anywhere, okay? I pose my camera out anywhere and I start talking to it like it ain't nobody. What? As a vlogger. You hear me? I'm a vlogger. Oh, let me show y'all what I'm going to eat. Tomatoes. A little bit of corn some tuna fish and some other stuff under there that I don't know what it is
is out of my life. She's out of my life. And I don't know whether to laugh or cry. And I learned that love won't wait. Miss, if you don't be quiet, we're going to put you out of the funeral service. And I learned that love needs expression. Can you have that lady removed, please? Have her removed. She's talking. No, guys, I'm okay. I'm all right. This is for real. Like, the, I just took these off of the plant. But the reason that I can actually do what I'm doing is because she's still alive and she has five leaves left. And I'm, I'm, there's no need for me to break down. So, hey guys. So we got home on Wednesday, May sixth, and on Thursday and Friday, which was May seventh and eighth. I was completely out of it and, and in no condition to do any vlogging. So thank God I got enough footage. I love each and every one of you guys for free, peace, and love. And I hope that you enjoyed your Mother's Day if you celebrate it. See you next week. Dental cheers. I can't believe that a dental chair feels so good. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and it's so hot outside. It's a beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful day.